the woman's like, oh, do you know anybody in this room? And the dog goes, Liam. What? And I'm like, no. Please, God, <laughs> no. You're really into paranormal stuff, isn't you? I love... Do you know what? I mean, I watch this show week in, week out, right? And, and, uh, you I watch mean, this I show? <laughs> this show. Uh, no, we've got that now. <laughs> yeah, Liam yeah, Payne watches yeah. Happy Hour do, every single uh, week. Li- every, Liam, if you can fail. just just say the words Happy Hour now quickly for me. Happy Hour. Now we can dub that, so he's going to say watch Happy, happy hour, hour every, every single... single brilliant, perfect. brilliant, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> well, the show I, I, I watched that one, but another show that I also watched. <laughs> that one. <laughs> I forgot what it was called yeah. already. I don't know the name of my own show. Don't be so flattered. <laughs> Liam, what's what's my YouTube name again? Do you remember or Jack Mate? <laughs> you got there. You got there. Don't, okay, don't ask. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of times people have forgotten my name on this show. Do you remember? Is do you remember Stevie when you... White? <laughs> oh, I, I'm taking that. That's. See, I, was gonna, I was gonna say Stevie Black just to be, <laughs> to be an ass. Do you remember what was it? Oh, Jack Whitehall forgot. KSI forgot. Jack Whitehall was brilliant I mean, though. You guys because... have done it wrong because your name's Stevie Stevie White. You're dressed in black. Yeah, we should have done it the other way around. We contrast on purpose. Yeah, we don't have one of these people. What are they called? M- m- uh, costume designers. Is that what they're called? <laughs> costume. Oh yeah, I just put my costume on for the day. <laughs> I love. I when... wonder who I'm going to be now. <laughs> Jack. Jack went. He was talking about duos, and for example, it was like, oh, you've got sort of like. And- uh, Ant and Deck, blah blah blah, and then he went. You've got Jack, mate, and you. <laughs> Who and said that? It's Jack, Jack Whitehall. Whitehall. <laughs> See, Honest- this is why we don't like you, Jack. Yeah, we're <laughs> okay. still beefing you, Jack. We're still beefing you. Right, Liam. Sorry, what are you saying? You watch you watch a show every week. I watch this show every week and another show called Paranormal, right? <laughs> right. Called, um, called Ghost Adventures, mm-hmm. and it's a re- it's been a, one of the longest running TV. I mean, twenty. 20- I think it's like 23 or 27 seasons of a show. Oh, man. Right? Now, imagine they go into this, this room hoping that ghosts are real and they talk to the room. There's nothing in it. So imagine you had a show that ran. I mean, it, I just think it's the coolest thing ever. Mm. Like, I go in and shout at walls and people watch. <laughs> like, that's basically what my mate does. And I think it's funny because I'm watching going, ah, this can't be real, can't be real. And I got to know him, but he's really passionate about it. And I'm thinking, oh, my God, like, he, this is like genuine. He's not faking it. And that's what got me into it. And then I thought... I I don't I'm not a believer because I haven't seen it and I need to see it to believe it. Mm. But I'm just like, but what if it is real and there is some woman from the 1800s going hello? <laughs> <laughs> but why is it? Why when people see ghosts are they always like from the 1800s? Why have I not seen someone that's like from last week? Yeah, she might have done, but would you know? Well, they'd, they'd still be dressed the same. Yeah, but they'd be all translucent. Yeah, but they had a costume designer. Yeah, they had a costume designer. (laughs) But then also you get a lot of people who only ever see celebrity ghosts. Like, I saw Elvis last week. Or or King Henry VIII. He's knocking about a lot. Do you know what I mean? Like, for a big fella, he gets around. Yeah. Like, people see him a lot. Uh, yeah. Oh, no, you're saying, why don't they see celebrities? No, I'm aren't... saying they do. Like, the Michael Jackson ghost, there was that video, wasn't there, in Neverland just after he died. I, I mean, no one saw Michael Jackson when he was alive, let alone. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, no, I don't. Yeah, I don't know. We love paranormal stuff on this. I saw a great one. I mean, I watch a lot of the, the show, that show, because of lockdown, I mean, one of the worst things for me was that show stopped. That's why I was so excited about this new episode. Yeah. The show had stopped. I was actually meant to go and film an episode with him, but I couldn't get to America in the time. It mm. looked like a scary ass episode they got me in for. What were you going to do? There's this hotel in America. I'll get the name of it for you after, but there's a hotel in America and they're basically like, there's been, obviously there's a lot of deaths in hotels because it comes with the territory that people might die in a hotel sometimes, but there was like a number of suicides and this girl, in 2013, after the greatest year ever, <laughs> um, <laughs> had a, good, good, she good. went into this hotel and basically they had her on the CCTV and she's really sad, but she, she was on the CCTV and she's like really acting very strange in this hotel. And then they found her. She was dead on the roof in like the water tank of the hotel and they can't explain why she was there. Oh, wow. Or how she got there or it's like really spooky. Fucking hell. If you watch the like the, the the video of the there's a, probably a few conspiracy places Elisa Lamb is the name apparently yes right yes wow and I was meant to go and stay the night there oh my god to try and find out more would um, you not be scared would you not, would you not shit yourself he's done it to me I, he's has, his name's Zach Bagans mm. and he's got this museum in, in Vegas you have to go you have to go like it's a must what, like, what, what's and in he it? has Charles Manson's ashes in there he's got the murder kit from the other big serial killer in America there's like real skeletons there's all sorts of stuff. There's a haunted doll in there that's meant to be like a haunted doll. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, said that really well. I sound like the biggest weirdo. We went in there, right? <clears throat> Once again, my manager is a very popular character in my life. We walk in there and the guy's like, do not insult the doll. Don't say anything. Bear in mind, we've got to fly home. 
on a plane mm. and like we've got loads of stuff we've got to do and remember when Post Malone went through all that random crap and they said he was cursed yeah yeah that yeah that was my friend they right, opened, uh, they opened the Dibbit box together right and he showed me the picture of the bruise on his arm from the opening the Dibbit box that Post had sent him and it was like it's weird it's yeah. weird stuff so anyway we walk in this room in this haunted doll now they have this machine that goes <laughs> cycles through radio stations to pick like a random word out mm. And if it says the same voice, it's highly unlikely that it could be anything else other than something paranormal because how would they pick the same voice off several different hundreds of radio stations, right? The same tone of voice. Well, I don't know what you mean. What do you mean? So the thing's cycling through loads of radio stations. Yeah. It's like a, a ridiculous amount, like 10 a second or mm-hmm. something. So it's like... And it'll say like a word like blue. Right. And if you ask two questions and it goes red, but in the same voice, then oh. it couldn't have been the same voice. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. This doll sat there and my manager walks in and goes, oh, why the long face, Peggy? First thing he says, I'm thinking, don't, because you're not supposed to laugh or like look at it or insult it or whatever. So we're all stood there like cowering like little boys behind this doll. And then they're like, the woman's like, oh, do you know anybody in this room? And the doll goes, Liam. What? And I'm like, no, please, God, no. And then my manager starts like, like he didn't insult it or anything. But the fact that he'd said that and then it said my name after, I thought, I'm dead. And then and then they're like, who's going to win the fight? In the, It was the same weekend as the boxing. Who's you and Jack Whitehall. Fight? And then between me and Jack <laughs> And then the doll's like, shh, 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 didn't say anything. Asked another question. Then it went, shh, 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 fury. Because it was a fury wilder fight. What the fuck? But what a word to pick out, fury. Yeah. Like a demon doll to say, you know? Yeah. That's weird. What? And that's you don't think that's set up or anything? I th- I, this is the thing. I think he's so passionate about it, and I don't, like from when I've spoken to him about stuff, it's not like he'd set it up. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Like I could s- kind of sense from him if he was like, "Oh yeah, but you know that this machine, we just press a button." He'd like, yeah. you know, these people that do these ghost hunts and stuff. I am often baffled by how like they that's they fully believe it, don't they? They love it. They I mean, fully... I, I want to believe it. I yeah. watch it with the ear of thinking this might be real. Or yeah, I'm watching a guy shout at a wall. Like mm. that's where we're at. Mm. But. I've had a couple of experiences in an, in another house that was... This is the most random ghost you could have, by the way. This is the funniest one. Go on. And I, like, my house that I have in America, um, I was I, in bed, and at 3 a.m., the lights would come on in the toilet, and then the door wouldn't open, and I'm like, first few weeks, I'm like, oh, whatever, it's nothing. And then the more time went on, it just kept happening, but it was always 3 a.m., which is meant to be the witching hour. Yeah. So then I'm, like, getting a bit more spooked out by it. Like, ooh, and then my, like, cleaner was saying she's, like, seen some stuff. And she like was like seeing like this guy in like these camo shorts or something. She was talking about, and I was like, what the fuck? Anyway, Cheryl was over with me one time, and she was having none of it. She was like, no, not staying in the room. Da, 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 not while I'm pregnant. I'm staying downstairs. So we like ended up sleeping in a different room of the house because of this stuff that's going on. And the mm. more you like fed into it, the worse the activity got. Taps. I'd be in the shower and I'd wash my face and all the lights would go out. And then when I take my hands off my face, the lights are all out. And it was like, fuck off. I didn't care. I was like, I'm standing my ground. Like, I'd have been this, gone. This is my house. And then we, we were walking and like Cheryl's mom has like a lot. I, I'm not sure what, what is she believes in something. And somebody came over to her in the, the middle of like Calabasas, mm. old town. They're like, you've got a ghost in your house. And they're like, and they're like, oh, okay. And she describes this ghost to us that we've that the cleaner has seen. So then she says the same things that the cleaner said she saw, but not actually being in. This woman's never been to my house. Turns out, she said the guy's name's Alan. The guy who used to live there was the helicopter pilot for the shots that you see in Jurassic Park, where there's a helicopter. What? It's the guy that used to live in the house. Yeah. He lived there for years, and apparently it was like his favorite place. And then he sold it onto the guy that I bought it from. When he was called Alan. Alan the Ghost. So Alan the Ghost. <laughs> Weird surname, but Alan the Ghost. It's like, very you, strange. Surname. You've just <laughs> he goes by Alan. <laughs> you've just said that you need to experience it to believe in any of it. Is that not enough? No, I need to see something. Like show me what show me what you got. Would you do Bloody Mary in the mirror? Yeah. Ooh, would would you say you do... Bloody Mary three times in I a mirror? Like I, I'm a proper prick, so yeah, I probably would. <laughs> oh, you <laughs> yeah. said you wouldn't. Well, he did it. He mm. did this to me. This is the thing at that at that museum, this haunted museum. Zach mm. like would like go to me. All right, just crawl through that hole by yourself. He's like, I don't know, just go and have an experience. People, things happen to them. There's loads of little holes in this house, and the house used to be Jenna Jameson's house. Right. That her parents lived in, and apparently there was like some weird, like satanic shit going on in like the underneath of it. So we went down underneath this bit of the house to go and stand in there. And I thought, screw it, I'll stand on the Pentagon. Like, that's the 
the, the Penta thing or whatever it is. Why are you fucking about That's the star, it, isn't it? Because I want to see it. I'm like, yeah. let's do it. So I'm stood there in this thing and I'm sat there and then suddenly you see me on the camera. I just turn because something touched me on the ear and I was convinced there was someone next to me. Uh. So then I'm like, and I stood there and I was like, I laughed and I'm like, no, nah, it can't be. Because I'm like on the show now. My mate's with me and I'm like watching the show on it. Yeah. And I'm like, Something's just touched me, I'm pretty sure. And he's like, okay, just stay here for five minutes. And just left me in the bottom of the basement of the house where they like apparently like had like human sacrifice and whatever. And I'm stood in the middle of this Mate. pentagram. I couldn't do it. I don't believe in any of it. And I couldn't do it. <laughs> but now you say you don't believe in it, but you couldn't do it. That's the yeah. weird thing. I... But I've got to know. I'm sorry, I've just got to know. Yeah. <laughs> do you believe in aliens then? <sighs> I watched that SpaceX thing that recently. <laughs> That when they, you know, when that guy <laughs> shot that thing into space, I've got no idea. Uh, Elon Musk, yeah, and he shot that oh, the spaceship. Not yeah, you could see it. Oh like, yeah, they went past time. my house. Not Musk, literally. <laughs> where do you live? Where do you live? <laughs> Norwich. <laughs> God, he went past my house. <laughs> yeah, I saw him out the window. Yeah, <laughs> but they, I wanted to see. Like, I thought if I watch something go out of the world's atmosphere, at least I'll know if something comes in what mm. it looks like. Was like my little theory on it. So yeah. I watched it, and it was the weirdest. Thing. Did you actually see it happen? Mm. It was like a weird hole in the sky, and I've never seen it before, but I'd like to think there was something out there. I think Elon Musk can do anything, can't he? He's just one of these guys. So that, amazing. I mean, yeah. he's like real-life Tony Stark. You know? <laughs> that's quite a good comparison, actually. Well, I, I feel like that's who they might have based him on. <laughs> what, Elon Musk? <laughs> no, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> who came first? <laughs> who, we can, who, who, that's a good point. Yeah. Chicken or the egg? <laughs> who came first, the or... Musk or the Stark? Iron Man, surely. But was it? Oh, I'm gonna get annoyed if I don't figure it out. What? What? I, was... Hang on, are we really are we really questioning whether Elon Musk exist, existed before Iron Man? I don't know what year Iron Man first came out. What, I know the Robert film Danny, came Robert out. Robert Downey Jr. a couple of years ago. Iron, Iron Man's, Man's a, a comic one. book, Jack. Is it? Yeah. Oh, I don't know anything about this, oh, mate. Yeah, no, no, no. But when they did the character for the film, I'm saying, did did oh, so he, Robert yeah, Downey go? I know who this a base is. off Elon. Yeah. Oh. Was Elon Musk back 2008? Iron Man, first Iron Man. I think you might have known in person. I think we, together as a collective, have discovered a new conspiracy.